Sir Sukandar Shagar Roy. Thank you, sir. Okay. Sir, presently, in the high courts of our country, altogether 477 vacancies are there. And how it has been caused, we all know that after this parliament and the state legislatures have passed the Constitutional Amendment Bill, 99th Constitutional Amendment Act, and the NJC Bill, the Supreme Court has set aside, declaring it as unconstitutional and void, and the minister's statement is also there in regard to that. Now, sir, for over a period of time, it has been held that consultation, the word consultation in Article 300, 66 uh, says, uh, has been held to be not as consulted. The meaning of the word consultation is concurrence. A new meaning has been imported into our constitution. And not only under Article 366, there are several articles in our constitution, like 124, 217, 120, Article 127. Article 222, everywhere there is a word consultation. And in all those cases, consult, consultation is binding. And the ordinary dictionary meaning is accepted. But only in case of Article 366, consultation has become concurrence. So, kabhi haan, kabhi na. Ye dono jaga, ye change kiya ja raha hai. So, is out of this situation, arising out of this situation, now the entire a uh, system of appointing of high court judges have come to a standstill. Now the minister says that, again, in the statement of the minister, at para 6, the minister has stated in his statement that it has been decided that the government of India, I quote, government of India may finalize the existing MOP in consultation with the Chief Justice of India. Again, in consultation with the Chief Justice of India. It means, Consultation again will be interpreted as concurrence with the concurrence of the Chief Justice of India. So it is not a consultation, but a con concurrence. So it would, have, it would have been better for the minister to use that word concurrence in concurrence with the Chief Justice of India. We have reduced to that level, and the parliament has been ignored, ignored like anything. When the parliament is in session, why the MOP should not be discussed here? Why the government only discuss with the Supreme Court or others? In applications have been, suggestions have been invited from the public in general through website of the Ministry of Law and Justice. Give your suggestion in regard to the MOP. But the parliamentarians, they are left in dark. So this is a failed attempt, according to me, to undermine the importance and existence of this parliament. And this is why. I am addressing to you. Yeah. Why not the members of parliament should discuss? And when the parliament is in session, it is incumbent upon the government to discuss the matter on the floor of the house, this MOP. Otherwise, we think, according to my party position, that the government is willy-nilly giving a goodbye to our greatest tradition of this parliament, that parliament is kept in dark about the MOP. But this is a very serious issue, sir. Okay. Because this is not a one-time affair. This will actually, once this MOP is accepted in some form or the other, this will continue for years together, and nobody knows how long it will continue. And last point, my last point, that the word consultation, there should be an interpretation to that effect that whether consultation means concurrence or not in each and every article of our constitution. And for that, government should move a government bill to that effect, defining the word consultation. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you very much.